Hello everybody, this is JT, and I'm going to show you how to survive your first night in my So let's wait till the world rolls up. This is a new world, so I haven't done anything here yet. Alright, so it looks like we've spawned in the snow biome. Let's wait till everything loads up. PC's not the best, so, but it works fine once everything loads up. Alright, here we go. Now, the first thing you want to do, depending on the biome you spawn in, is get about 15 logs. If you don't, if you, there's not enough trees to get that many, you're okay, but this is the preferred amount that you'll want. Let's see if I... You might also, if this is your first time, turn down your render distance. You might speed up a little bit. Don't worry about the leaves. Again, if this is your first time, just grab the logs. The leaves will disappear. Let's make sure there's nothing there. Alright, we have four. So that's 16, but whatever, we're good. So now get, I'll just move over to a clear spot. Alright. Now press E to open up your inventory. Right click to leave one piece in there and grab those four pieces of wood. Now put them in a pattern like so to create a crafting table. You can place it down whenever you want. Here's good. Now, let's see. Actually, we don't, oh yeah. Let's place two there so you get about eight. Then you're going to want to make some sticks like that. Now, let's make pickaxe, which allows you to mine things such as stone. Because if you try without your hand, with your hand, then it'll just break and you will not get that item back. And it also takes a lot longer. So now, my plan always to find a place to live before monsters start spawning in because they will kill you is to live in a mountainside like this which is actually perfect from where I spawned in so let's just make a small indention in here in which we will live I see we've encountered some stone so we want to use our pickaxe You might just want to make a 3x3 three three house with two blocks tall. Seems like the most effective, and it doesn't really cost you all that much time. Some people like to actually build a house, but unless you're in an area where you cannot make uh, an indention in a small hill like I've done here, then uh, you might as well just do this. So now use our other six or just one of them to make a sword so that we can get some food because as your hunger bar runs out let's see if we can't find any cows here I saw some 
Also, be careful of jumping off high points and points as you may lose hearts. And if your hunger bar is not full, then those hearts will not return until it becomes full again. Sometimes you might not get any food at all, which stinks. Lagging pretty bad. It's usually faster than this. Oh, there we go. We got a pork chop. Now, where are those cows? They seem to disappear. Oh, I did notice. Aha! Here we have some coal, which is effective in smelting things. Too bad. In your own furnaces, which I'll show you how to make very shortly. Too bad it's only one piece. Oh, I preferred more, but we can make some. And I'll also show you how to do that as well. Seems to be no other food. I have no idea where that count went, so. Now, let's create our furnace and our crafting table. We have 15 cobblestone, so that's why I asked you to make your indention that large. Just pull it out. Place that over here. Now we want to make some charcoal so that we can uh, create some torches which will provide light when it gets dark. So we'll almost cover this up. Nope. See, it's getting dark now. Got it just in time. Now we can make one torch or four torches. I'm sorry. I just want to place them in a fashion like so. There. Now, if you want to take an extra step. By the way, if you want to shift and click. It'll automatically take all the wood that you place in there or any item and it'll give you all of it so you don't have to constantly click. Make it in a furnace pattern but with wood and it'll give you a chest in which you can store your items. So if you die and you drop all your stuff, if you just leave it in all your stuff in here and you die then you won't lose it because it'll obviously be in here. So I did not see how dark it was getting with this dark see. Oh, no, it's still day, so we could technically go out there, see if we can't find more food, or to do whatever you want to do, really. If you find some cool resource, you might as well go mining for a short period of time. I'll just look around and see what there is to see. Yeah, let's not jump down there. I uh, like this. When you have a lot of low water sources like this, there's usually going to be some clay. Ah, oh, there's that cow. Which has the texture of sand, except it looks kind of gray, which you can use to make some bricks. I mean brick, and then you can get bricks. Brick is just... Oh, look, we got some leather. Oh, there's another cow. Leather can be used either to make books picture frames or leather armor, but you'll need a lot of leather to make that armor. So where was I? Ah, the clay. Brick blocks, it's kind of a cool building element. It makes your any houses that you create look really cool, so that's good. Now we have some food, which now you can eat food raw, as it is eat raw pork chop, raw beef, but If you play, you cannot place the same item in the same spot because they're not the same. But it'll give you the cooked version. It'll just name it beef, I believe. Or steak, I'm sorry. Not beef. Forever alone sand. Now, unless you get a pretty good sized house and have a good idea of your general surroundings, I do not suggest leaving very far or else you may get lost and that really stinks. I've almost done that. I've done that actually plenty of times, but uh, 
I can usually remember things pretty well, so if I see something I remember, I'll know which direction to go. Or another trick, if you are terrible at remembering, is to press F3, and then see, you'll see, uh, you have just all those random things, Minecraft 1.4.7 is what I'm running, then you see your X, Y, and Z coordinates. If you write down your X and your Z, then you'll know where you are. That's pretty much for my video, guys, so, see ya.